What's up, sneaker fam? It's your boy DJ Strike It Up coming back at you with another video. It's been a while since I put together a video, but I finally got a chance to do something. And what better way to end 2017 than to do a top 10 sneaker pickup for myself? So I wanted to get something done. It's a lot of work. You know, you got to go back and pull all these sneaker boxes. But I wanted to do something just to kind of go back into 2017 and see what my favorite picks uh, were for the year, my favorite pickups. So let me give you guys a quick rundown. Um, honorable mention, these didn't make the top 10, but these are definitely just, a, a, I'm blown away with these. I, I, I don't even know what to say. So first, let me do a quick shout out to my boy Bishop from UBS who uh, hooked me up with these. He uh, was able to land these on the app. I couldn't get them. And it's not that, you know, these, for some reason, you know, the resale value hasn't been crazy with these. Um, they've kind of been uh, resold at retail, which is great because if you wanted to pick up a pair, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. But these are the Nike Zoom Vapor um, AJ3. And what I love about these is just, if you can't see that, man, like that's just, that's awesome. Old school Nike tab. Um, looks like the, you know, like the Jordan 3s. Um, I, I just love these, you know, still dead stock. So I'm definitely going to bust these out. But besides the shoe, it's the box too. I mean, the box looks dope. I, I just, I, I love, I'm a, I'm a sucker for boxes. Um, if you do the shoe right, you know, the box should come looking good too. So these came out back in August. And like I said, I was not lucky enough to land these on the, on release on release day but my boy bishop you know had me down with these so big shout outs to you brother thank you so i'm not gonna rank these i'm not gonna say okay well these are you know my favorite shoes like number 10 number nine and so on i'm actually gonna try and do these how they came out you know um date wise how did these all come through um so let's see the first pair would have to be the uh, 13 Black Cats. So let me grab them. I got them all on the side. So here they are, the Jordan Black Cat 13s. And I love the, you know, the 3M, finally. a lot. I, I know a lot of people were tripping um, when Jordan uh, released the, the Bread 13s a while back and they did not do the 3M. And of course, people were getting all mad. This pair came looking really dope, even the laces. Um, another thing is the suede ish new buck feel. I don't even know if this is suede or new buck, but man, this feels so smooth. And like I said, man, that 3M just pops at you. Love it. All right. So those dropped in January. And when they did, man, I had to grab a pair, you know, $185, or I'm sorry, 190 was the retail on those. So then the next pair is the tape lights. So here they are. These right here. All right. So I like these because it's just a different colorway. This army looking green and black. Um, man, I, I love it. Now, um, I'm sure the camera is not going to capture the... Um, the the material but the the leather that they used it's kind of it has this like i don't know how to describe it kind of like a a rough feel to it but you you have to see it up close to kind of get an idea of what i'm talking about um it, it's almost like it has a pattern to it it just i i like them i really do now i did have a complaint um i believe it's on the other shoe it's not on this one there was a crease when I pulled these out of the box um, on the right shoe, um, nothing really noticeable. But you know, when you when you pay top dollar for your shoes, you you know you want your stuff to come out looking right. So, um, like I said, these are the Jordan uh, Nine Top Flight, and uh, oh my bad, Jordan Eight Top Flight. Don't want no sneakerheads coming after me. All right, bro, that's that's not a nine, bro. What's wrong with you? No, these are the Jordan Eight. Uh, top flight. Um, I like them. I like. I love the colorway, man. I love how these came out. Um, and again, these didn't sell out. Um, I remember going back into a couple of stores and seeing 
uh, that they still had them on the shelf, which is good for sneakerheads. You know, if you missed out, you can still grab these. Um, I'm not sure if you can grab them now, but I remember for, you know, a few weeks after release date, those were still available. All right, so then moving on to a real, real favorite of mine. These right here, these are Jordan 13 cherries. And man, these are just, these are gorgeous. Now, a couple of my uh, UBS brothers have these on their, uh, on their top picks of the year. Um, and one of my boys, my, um, my boy Alan, uh, said that one of the reasons why he loves this pair is because the, uh, the colorway is an OG colorway that Jordan um, rocked in his playing days. So um, definitely when these came out, I had to grab them. Um, you, just, you just can't say no, you know, gorgeous shoe. All right, let's see. And like I said, those came out um, February. So now, let's see, where's my ones? So here we go. Jordan Royals. Um, I'm gonna tell you why I love this pair now. These came out August, I'm sorry, August, April. April 1st, April Fools. Um, the quality of leather on these is just, it's perfect, in my opinion. Um, I love this really soft feel uh, on the toe box. Um, it almost reminds me of the leather um, and the shattered backboards. It just, it's a real buttery feel. Um, I, you know, I love that feel. I love the fact that, you know, if you're gonna be spending money on these shoes, at least the quality should be on par. And you know, everybody says the same thing. Um, it's Jordan, what do you expect, you know? Um, what what used to be considered you know top quality now it's just not there no more and a lot you know you always see it on release day when people buy shoes they're like man i see glue stains i see creases already and so on on this pair i can't find no flaws um the leather is just buttery i'm telling you i i, I can sit here all day and go like this man it feels really nice so i like i said these came out in april all right, so next pair is one of my favorites for the year. For those of you guys that know me, I'm a sucker for red. I love, I love, I love red shoes. So um, these Jordan 5s that came out um, in July, my birthday month, I had to grab them. And as a matter of fact, um, somebody posted that these were at an outlet here in Chicago um, for real cheap and they sold out. Um, but I was, I, you know, I copped mine, you know, um, on release day and I just, this is a gorgeous shoe. I mean, this is, this is it. And, you know, I'm a sucker for red shoes. You know, I can't live in LA, man. Cause I'll get shot. They might think I'm blood. Some crip might roll up on me, man. And it, I love red, not for no other reason other than it's one of my favorite colors and red shoes, especially are just it for me. Um, I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Love this shoe. Um, I don't even know. I mean, my only complaint is I wish, if you can see that, um, the air bubble on the inside is actually white. If they would have done the whole shoe red, including the air bubble, I think this would have probably made it my favorite pickup of the year. But, you know, what can you do? Other than that, I think this shoe's just dope. Um, like I said, these came out in July. I had to grab a pair. One of my favorite, favorite pairs that came out. Um, can't, you know, you can't go wrong with that. Uh, all right, so like I said, those came out in July. Now these came out in August. Again, Jordan 13 Breads. And man, look at that 3M now. Let me show y'all something. Here's the Jordan 13 bread that came out before. Uh, these came out, I believe, 2012, 2013. I'm not 100% sure. One of those years. But this was the last release before this one. And, of course, you see the difference. Wow. Now, I 
this is the first shoe that I ever won um, at uh, Nike when they were doing their um, their reserve um, Twitter thing. You know, if you for those of you guys that know what I'm talking about, when Nike stopped doing the the first come first serve, and they started to use their Twitter tweet reservation thing. I never ever won anything except these and my Jordan Carmichael's. Um, I'm sorry, my Jordan Carmine's uh, sixes um, were the only two pairs of shoes that I ever won at Nike through that raffle system. These uh, were actually a birthday present from my wife. Um, she um, saw that I really wanted these, but I decided to pass on them because I already had a pair and the only thing that bugged me was that this pair had 3M and um, you know, she decided to give me a really awesome birthday present and there you have it. So of course, definitely one of my favorite pairs um, for the year. Now, again, what did I say? People always complain about uh, quality. Well, everybody was happy that the 3M was back, but quality, you know, there's glue stains, you know, the suede, there, there were some imperfections in my pair. I mean, what are you going to do, you know? Um, we still buy the damn shoes. And as long as we keep buying them, I don't think Jordan Brand's going to do much about addressing a lot of the, the quality um, issues that they have. But again, one of my favorite pairs, uh, special birthday present. And like I said, those came out in August. And then all the way from august to november is the next pair now you know jordan brand does this every year they come out with some 11s and uh, these are the uh the the 11s that they decided to come out with this year was the navy blue pair all right uh i i bought them because i'm an 11 freak man i love 11s the colorway I guess I can, you know, I got stuff I can match up with these. Um, what I will say is I love that they actually did um, a color contrast. They have a more of, of a turquoise or a light blue jump man. And then obviously the the patent leather is navy blue. Um, but, as, you know, I, I grabbed them, you know. Is it my absolute favorite pair for the year? No, absolutely not. But... Jordan Brand already knows that every year they got to drop an 11. Um, it's it's been like that for a while, um, and and every year I've I've managed to pretty much grab the 11s that that drop. So I had to grab those. Now, the next shoe also dropped on the same day that those uh, 11s dropped, and it's a non-Jordan shoe. It's a. NB, I'm sorry, SB Dunk, Nike SB Dunk Low. And you see that on the back, see the pigeon? Uh, obviously, I do not have the original pair that dropped years ago that caused that New York shutdown. Um, if you want a pair of those, man, you're gonna have to pay an arm and a leg and then the other arm and the leg to go with it because those are expensive as hell. But rumors started to go around that these shoes were going to drop. And, of course, everybody said they had to grab a pair. I missed out. I couldn't grab a pair. Um, so I had to pay a little bit over, over retail for these. But I'm glad I did. I still got them for a good price. Um, still dead stock. I haven't worn them yet. And I love them, man. I, I think this colorway is pretty dope. And, of course, you need, you need that pig, the pigeon in the back. So I had to grab these. Um, like I said, these also dropped in November, November 11th to be exact. Um, retail was 110. I didn't pay 110. I paid a little bit over, but not by much. So then, December 9th is when these dropped. I did not grab these December 9th. As a matter of fact, I got these. I believe maybe a week or two earlier. Um, for those of you guys that were lucky on the Nike sneakers app, they actually decided to drop these early. They did a kind of a, a trick thing. And I remember I was sitting on Twitter and the tweet comes through saying that these were available, but you know, go through the sneaker app to see if you can get lucky. And I couldn't figure it out at first. I was like, what the hell? I, I went to the app. I thought maybe what they meant was that 
Um, maybe you had a pair that was reserved for you in advance, like Nike likes to do. And I didn't see nothing, so I gave up. I came back like 45 minutes later, and somebody had posted a picture on my Twitter, and they said, you have to use this picture to unlock the pair. And so you go through the Nike uh, sneaker app, and then there's like a camera. So you had to take a picture using the camera in the sneaker app, and when you took the picture, then all this magical stuff happened, and I got lucky. I actually, my wife and I got lucky because she got her pair, I got my pair. Um, and of course, I'm a sucker for red, so I had to grab these. Um, I mean, they're red. You gotta, and then they're Jordan 11. I mean, you gotta grab them. So, like I said, I got lucky. I actually got mine in advance, uh, which these were both of these pairs, man. Again, they made so many pairs, you know? So many pairs. These were available everywhere, okay? Um, as a matter of fact, they just did a restock yesterday, okay? On December the 30th. They had a major restock, I believe, on Finish Line. So for those of you that missed out on those, you were able to get them again online. So there's enough, they were enough pairs to go around, you know? Um, hopefully you were able to cop your pair. I know cats that were paying like 350 to get these early. Uh, I, I don't understand that. I personally don't do that. But that brings us to the last pair, number 10. This is probably my favorite pair for the whole year. Ready? <laughs> yeah. The Gatorade 6s. Yeah, now let me tell y'all something. I have been having bad luck with these apps towards the end of the year. I actually have four pair of Yeezys that I did not include in the top 10 pickup for 2017 because I didn't cop those shoes to rock them. I'm not a Yeezy fanatic, or at least not the Adidas Yeezys. I won't rock none of those shoes. If I had my choice, I would love to get my hands on a pair of Adidas, I'm sorry, a pair of uh, Yeezy Red Octobers, which ain't gonna happen. That's like $4,000, $3,000. So the Yeezys that I do um, get a chance to, to get, if I'm able to cop them, um, I'm just holding on to them for, uh, for trading, you know, uh, trade bait, which I've actually used uh, let me see, two pairs or three pairs that I traded before and I was able to get some bins out of that deal. So, like I said, my, my Yeezys are just gonna sit on the shelf. I'm actually looking at them, they're over there on the shelf. And um, so I didn't include them, but I'm still trying to cop them so that I can use them as trade bait. And I could not get like the last three that dropped on the apps, okay? I went to Yeezy uh, online, couldn't grab them there. I signed up on all the apps, nothing. I got 10 minute head starts. I didn't get nothing, not one. So I didn't get the Beluga 2.0s. I actually paid a little bit over retail for those, but I still got them at a decent price. So I'm gonna go hold on to those. But I didn't get the blue tints. I didn't get the yellow ones. I mean, you know, it sucks. It's, but you know, what are you gonna do? So when these came up, I made sure that I, you know, selected my stores and everything. Stupid me, come Thursday, it's like 4.30 and I had not made it into a store to do a check-in. So I drove real quick to my neighborhood Foot Locker. I walk in and they're like, oh yeah, we're not getting those. So if we're not gonna get them, you can't do a check-in. Well, I didn't have enough time to drive to one of the stores that I did select to get these. So I ended up only having nine minutes on my uh, on my app and I thought for sure I wasn't gonna get these. You know, cause everybody wanted them. Believe it or not, I got these reserved on Foot Locker with only nine minutes. I mean, that just blew me away. But as you can see, I passed on the, the other ones, the Be Like Mike sixes i might try and cop them down the road but they look real similar to some carmines the shade on the red is a little bit different obviously but i had to have these i mean these are just wicked 
I mean, God, these are so sexy, man. So sexy. But this and this right here is my favorite pair for 2017. This was the icing on the cake for me for the year. So with that being said, um, let me do some shout outs real quick. Shout out to my boys from United by Souls. Thank you for everything, man. Thank you guys for always looking out for one another. We, every year, do a collection and we try to bless usually one of our members, you know, um, with some 11s. This year, we uh, we all pitched in and we hooked up our boy, Alan, because uh, he was going to have to pass on these since money was a little tight. He wanted to make sure he took care of his family and their presents and everything. Well, we wanted to give you a present and we sent a pair of these to my boy, Alan. Of course, my boys United by Souls, um, we did it. We did it again like we always do. We're looking out for one another. And, uh, you know, our, the sneaker game has really changed a lot. We used to be able to look out for more people because of uh, being able to use tickets, um, you know, with these raffles. And now it's a little bit harder. But we still manage to look out for one another. And uh, I appreciate that. And I appreciate you guys for doing that. Everybody else, you know, all my friends, sneaker friends. And, uh, you know, I mean, thank you. Thank you for just uh, another great year. Um, and we'll see what 2018 brings us, man. Big shout outs to all of our families that support this crazy habit, our addictions, our wives, the girlfriends, the kids, everybody. Thank you guys for, you know, for just putting up with us. I mean, you know, I'm running out of room here. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, uh, and I posted that I finally cleaned up. I had to clean up because I couldn't even get to my DJ equipment. For those of you guys who know, I also do screen printing now, like this. And, uh, you know, I got my, my model dummy right here wearing the same shirt. But across the way is my uh, my print shop. And, man, I've been just printing so much. So I want to do a special shout out to everybody that supported me um, with that business. Thank you guys for uh, purchasing those T-shirts. Hopefully I'm providing, you know, good quality products to hopefully bring you guys back and purchase uh, some more in the future, all right? Big shout outs to, of course, none other than the rest of the sneakerhead community out there for checking one another out, you know, lending a hand here and there, the boys from Laced. Thank you guys also for being there, for uh, taking care of one another. And like I said, we'll see what 2018 brings us. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Facebook, follow me wherever you can find me because this year I'm relaunching my DJ website so you can download some mixes. Like I said, my turntables are uncovered and dusted off. We're gonna start putting uh, some mixes together for you guys again. I actually wanna start streaming this year. Maybe, you know, we'll see what happens. But I am gonna record more videos. I'm gonna use this uh, this YouTube channel to do more of a blog. Not just sneakers, but anything. Like, you know, we just finished watching some crazy uh, NFL playoff games. I wanna talk about my Bulls. Hopefully the Bears fire John Fox today. We're gonna talk about that. So you're gonna see a lot more videos. Definitely hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll have some fun 2018, all right? It's your boy DJ Strike It Up. Thank you for checking me out, man. Peace.